Hi, hope you already watched my previous videos. If not, try this. My recent video, I was talking about plant nutrition or plant food. Today, I am going to show you how to do watering efficiently for your garden. Plants absorb water and nutrition mainly through roots. So when we water them, better to moist top 6 to 8 inch of soil where the most feeder roots are. For this purpose, best way is drip or soaker system. These methods release lower volume of water over longer period of time, targeting the root area. Thereby, you can maintain proper soil moisture while saving lots of water. If you use a garden hose with a shower head, most water runoff before moist the soil around the plant. I am going to show you how to install a simple drip irrigation system. Soaker system is suitable for a large area but not to a small garden. This system can be removed and restored over the winter. Let's see what you need for that. You can purchase a complete kit online or purchase only the component you need. It is not expensive. I purchased this kit under You can use water from any source to fill this bucket. That means you can use uh, harvested rainwater, water from a well, water from a stream, or water from a um, pond, any source. That is the advantage of this type of system. Uh, you don't want to depend on uh, city water or tap water. The other advantage of this method is you can dissolve plant food into this. You can simply add uh, one scoop of plant food into this. Then you don't need to worry about providing extra nu nutrition. How you decide when to water? Uh, it all depends on the weather. The simple way is dip your finger in. If it is moist, you don't need to do water. If it is dry, yes, it needs water. Uh, what about uh, you are not very sure about the sensation of your finger? Well, then you have to use another gadget. There is a gadget called moisture meter. This can detect uh, soil moisture, soil pH, as well as amount of light you received. I'm a gadget lover, so I have gadgets. I am using this to irrigate my lawn. So you simply dip it about uh, two inch, then it will read moisture level. 
then you can decide whether you need water or not. I can control this from here, from the valves, thereby I can save water. When the water is over in this uh, bucket, you can fill it again. If the stakes comes with the kit is too short, you can make your own ones. Uh, I made these uh, stakes using the shirt hanger. The other method is uh, use the city water connect into the garden hose or garden tap. You can use this connector for that. Attach this connector to the garden tap. And just push this connector. Then you can get the water from the city line. If you want to disconnect, just push this way and disconnect it. You can use this connector to connect it to the tap from here. There is no thread.
If you like the video, please hit like icon and bell icon as well subscribe. I will come up uh, with uh, new videos on different topics to cover. Thanks for watching. See you again.